and we're back with another video in today's video like i had told you guys i was gonna be doing a video based on how i color in my disney books but this will be a part one because i do have a good amount of different materials that i can show you guys that you guys can have a choice in coloring in your disney but i'm only going to be showing the ones that i really really like to color in um so what i did i'm going to show you guys a, a little clip a video that i was doing um me and simply ash on youtube on oh my god on youtube channel we <laughs> we decided to um color in a disney page this month with this app that we decided to use and this app we you put in the names of the coloring books and it will spin for you and then it will give you the book that you will be working on this month and then it also will be giving you um and the number as well so i'm going to be showing you guys a small clip right now <clears throat> so that's going to be the page this is the dogs and puppy disney um color by number on here and it said it was going to be page five so i already have it marked on here for you guys just so it's easier for me to just open up the page so this is going to be the page right here that i'm going to be working on i might be speeding up certain areas um on this video not everything but i will be speeding up especially doing the black outline on here for you guys so i'm going to show you guys this is my color chart on here i do have my kids with me on my on the background so if you guys hear anything on the background you guys already know it's my kids so i will be using the stevelos um water base and markers on this video so I'm gonna go ahead and start matching up the colors on here and then I'll get back to you guys. So I'm going to be using, like I said, the stabilos. The numbers are already on here. Um, for the black color, the one that I really, really like is these Thule, Thule Art Acrylic Paint Pan. Um, this is the extra fine. This is the ones you got to push down on the tip and the ink will come out so this is the one i'm going to be using for the um outline so i'm going to be speeding in this part up for you guys just to do the outline real quick and then i'll come back to you guys
okay that is the outline i do the outline first like i was explaining to you guys because um i'm using stabilos and those are just regular marker water-based markers and um so i always do the outline first with the tuli art marker and then i move over to my stabilos which i'm going to be um taking out the colors that i'm going to be using for this page so i'm going to go ahead and speed that part as well because it does take me a little longer to find the numbers just because i do have a quite good amount of cellulose on here and then the numbers like i had showed you guys before um they're small here so i have to go through every single one of them to find the numbers that i need so i'm gonna speed this part up and then i'll be back with you guys Okay, so here are all the colors that I need for this page. I try my best to go to the closest one that I can to the color, especially when I'm only using one brand. If I'm using more than one brand, for example, if I end up using the acrylic markers and also the stabilos, I do um, go through every single one, make sure that they're all matching. But when I'm doing just one brand, it's a little harder to match every single one of them just because you won't always find the um, closest color to... Um, that is that color for the the color that it's asking for but when for me i just as long as it goes to the closest color that i can get it to i'm fine with the page i'm not looking for any type of perfection on these pages but um here are all the colors that i'm using it is a total of 10 colors including the black color so i'm gonna go ahead and start with these colors on the page i'm gonna start with number one which is 86 is the one that I chose so uh, usually with these um, markers I like to outline first where the number it is that I'm gonna be using and I don't worry about if it goes a little bit over the acrylic because it doesn't do nothing to it it's not like it's act it gets activated once it's there so I'm gonna do the outline here I really do like these markers. I know a lot of people don't. Some people do. Some people don't. I guess it depending on what they like to use. But in my opinion, I really do like using this um, a type of marker. So I do not regret buying um, buying this set of markers. It's really hard to talk and color in the same time. pretty much what i do with these markers i go around it you can go based on however you want to do it whether you want to do the whole the one line method but i'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up for you guys
Okay, so pretty much what I'm doing here, I'm either going like the little circling um, way or I'm just sticking to going up and down. I try not to like go like this or go like that because then it will come up with a lot of like different lines in the way. But ever since I tried these out, I really like how it turns out once it starts drying up on the page. You can't really tell as much. And if you can, it's not that bad to strike in. Not like the Super Tips, I think it was, or the Standards. One of them two used to do a lot of the line on here like crazy. And you were able to tell a lot. So I just stopped using them. Once I found out about the Stabilos and the acrylic markers, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stick to just those markers for my opinion everybody has different opinions everybody likes doing different things but i really do like sticking to more into the stabilos and acrylic markers so Okay, so that was number one. Those are all the number ones that I have found in this page. So I'm going to jump over to number two. If I miss any numbers, I'll, um, I'll realize at the end of the video. Not the end of the video, but while I'm coloring. So I just go back to it. So number two is a darker brown. So it's 89. Right here. Okay, so that was number two. So let me go ahead and pick number three, which is a 75. 
There's 75 right here. So that is number three. I like how it looks um, as smooth. It doesn't look like all messy or anything like that. Um, I don't try to look for perfectionist, you know, like being perfect, perfect <laughs> on these pages because for me it's just for fun and stuff. But I don't color in like going crazy either. So it looks like all messy. You know what I mean? Like I don't try to just do it all crazy and whatever and not care how the page is going to come out. I just feel like if I'm going to be wasting money in a good amount of books, might as well just color nice in it. But like I said, I do sometimes go over on my lines. I'm not perfect or anything like that. Sometimes I do mess up, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with messing up or anything like that. Okay, so those are all the colors for number three. I mean, those are all the section for number three. Number four is a 65. Okay, so that is number four and i don't think i have any more around the page another thing that i don't do either is if i pass it one time i don't go over it again only because i feel like it's gonna look ugly especially with these markers so i need a number for number five with the number 12. So this is number five.
so that is number five head over to number six which is a number 53 let's go ahead and find number six there's one section on here um and not all of the disney books um have a lot of details like this one is one of a perfect one i say because it's not really super detailed at all it's really good and it's very easy to get it done it doesn't really take me um that much time compared to like the ones that are super detailed they do take me a little longer i'll let you guys know by the end of the video how long it took me to do this a video and then you guys have an idea of um, how long it takes me to do Disney pages, but everybody is different. Some people will take longer. Um, it doesn't matter on what markers you're using. I do stop a lot in between, not in this video, but when I'm doing a page, I do stop a lot because I do have kids and I take my time. I'm not in a rush coloring on these Disney books. I really like these Disney books, so I don't mind taking my time with them, but I always try to get my pages done by the end of the month only because i don't like having whips um because the one time that i had whip it took me months for me to finish that page i had forgot about it and then when i got back to it i was like just taking my time i was losing like um i don't know like i didn't want to do the page afterwards and i just wanted to just get it over with i don't know so i tried my best to finish a page um by the end of the month and and if i think that by the end of that last week of the month i'm not going to finish the page i try not to stick to details pages i just leave it for the next month so i don't have to start something and then not finish it i don't know it's just the way how i do things everybody's different everybody has their own opinion so um yeah, that's pretty much it. So you see how I ended up doing a, a double on here? Oops, I'm so sorry. I didn't think you guys... I thought you guys were being... Was able to watch this part. I am so, so sorry. So I did double right here. So the page feels a little like if it's going to break. So that's why I always say I don't do double on watercolor base markers or either alcohol markers just because I feel like the page is gonna break this is not really a car stock page it's just regular page but let me stop talking let me go ahead and finish this part and this is the only part for number six um yada 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 okay <laughs> that's the only thing i had to color for that part so i'm going to jump over to i only have three more colors on here and then i'll be almost done with this page so i'm doing number seven which is 28 so let me go ahead and for this part i just don't want to bore you guys either <laughs> Okay, so that is number seven. Number eight is 62. Let's go ahead and start covering for number eight here.
Okay, so that is number eight. That's all the numbers for there. All the numbers that keep saying all the numbers. Okay, so this is the last one. This is number nine. Is um, number ninety six on the marker. So this is the only part that needs to be colored in. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video so far. It has been an hour and 23 minutes for me to finish this page. Okay, <laughs> those are all the white spots I keep missing. So that is how I color part one with my Estabilo markers on here which i love how the page turned out i like how smooth it looks i know there's some spots that probably look a little bit i don't know funky i guess but i really like how this page turned out um i really love these stabilo markers so and that is it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you guys watched this video until the end leave me a flower emoji in the comments down below and thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video